Well, there's always this thing I always say on this time of day. Merry Christmas, everybody! How's it going, everyone? This is P.D. Prowlock, and I'm back again on Christmas Day, as I have been done for the past three or four times now. But why not do a video on Christmas Day, as I've been doing for a tiny bit? So, hope you have enjoyed yourselves so far. Plenty of food, plenty of booze, or any type of drink. And last but not least, some great presents you all received. I'm sure you got some really fantastic ones, which I did as well. I'm going to name a few of them, which are which were some fantastic ones as well. So here we go. I did get a lot of chocolate and stuff, but I'll not bother showing that. But um, this game for PlayStation 4. WWE 2K17 as you know I am a fan of wrestling and I love WWE as well so I asked for that one as well so and um, uh, I got this off my sister yes the latest album by my favorite band of all time Metallica hardwired to self-destruct I've heard and listened to a few of their songs lately before this album actually came out and I've got to say wow this is actually really good actually so I like seeing Metallica back in the really old days with all the thrashy stuff and all that so it's good to see my favorite band come out with a new album at least hopefully they'll go on to our show I really hope they do UK doesn't matter if it's Newcastle I'll even travel down to see them if I have to now this one is pretty funny yeah it's a it's a it's a drinks coaster <laughs> on it it says Keep calm, Sunland are still shit. Yeah, that's true, isn't it, really? <laughs> but I'm going to see yeah, it's the best one I've got so far. I know it's on a bit of paper at the minute. Oh, yes. 11th of February, I am going on a stadium tour around St. James's Park. I cannot fucking wait for that. Oh my god. Yes. With a two course meal at the nine bar as well. So I am really looking forward to that. Best present I've received so far. And I tell you about another couple of, another couple of, another gift I got, and that's this ticket to see Chris Ramsey, a comedian, as well. So looking forward to that uh, next year as well. But really looking forward to the stadium tour. I've never done a tour of St. James's Park yet. I'll tell you which one I have done. It was back in 2010. I was in Glasgow at the time. And I went on a stadium tour around Hampden Park as well. There. And that was really good, I've got to say. Where you see a lot of the Scottish Cup finals held at as well. But I'm really looking forward to a stadium tour of my favourite foot team ever. St. James's Park tour. Here I come. I'll be coming for you soon. So so looking forward to that but i hope you guys got some really good gifts as well so and then um, where does this leave for our football team at christmas yes we're still sitting top of the league feels good and uh we're going to play tomorrow against sheffield wednesday so hopefully we can continue but we're gonna have to do it without john joe shelby tomorrow which is gonna be uh, I think it's going to be a huge blow, at least in my opinion, because he has definitely been one of our players so far this season. Now, I asked this question on Twitter of what Rafa might do tomorrow, since he is going to be missing. And um, I hopefully might have the final results here on my phone on Twitter. So, here we go. Right, two of the answers got the same percentage. Right, the least one I got, it was 18 votes that people had voted. I got 22% the lowest that he think he might place Shelby with Czech Teote if he does get involved. Yeah. Now, 39% said this, if he's fit, Callback might come in and partner Hayden alongside two defensive midfielders. And this one got the same as well. And that's put Mitrovic alongside Dwight Gale. Which in a way you could 
drop Diarmi back a little bit, having one like attacking midfielder and one defensive midfielder that way. What will happen tomorrow? What do you think will happen tomorrow? I'm not actually not sure what will happen tomorrow. What do you think will happen? Get in the comments what you think will happen of who will we be replacing John Joe Shelby tomorrow in the game against Sheffield Wednesday. So, yeah, I was a bit gutted Shelby did not appeal his, his uh, uh, ban. But um, hopefully we can do it just without him. I did, exp I did predict 3-0 on my previous video, but with Shelby suspended... Could I change it slightly? I think we'll still win. But I'm going to say we're going to win 2-0 this time. Let's just hope it does. Or uh, It doesn't matter for me. Any result. As long as we get 3 points tomorrow. And stay on that top. To avoid uh, Brighton going up there. If we do not get anything tomorrow out of this game. So, so yeah. As I said. Hope you're enjoying your Christmas so far. I'm absolutely bloody stuffed after a dinner. Courtesy of the mother. Well done for doing that as well. She did it spot on today as well. So hope you all have had a nice roast uh, Christmas dinner as well. I certainly did. Turkey, but also had gammon as well So with it. So <sighs> There's cheesecake for I'm going to have for later because I can't eat anything at the moment. I'm absolutely stuffed as hell at the moment. So... I'll be having that a bit later, but as I said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully should be back for the Sheffield Wednesday review tomorrow. And uh, just hope you're enjoying all the rest of your Christmas. Keep it going for a while. Do not let it stop yet, because I'm certainly not. And I'll see you all later. Take care of yourselves. Merry Christmas to you all.